we here on behalf of the Middle East and Student Center. Um, this seems like a very vibrant student center, and I hope that it just continues to grow uh, as the number of beautiful Middle Eastern students at UCR continues to grow. <laughs> And I say it's a responsibility to be here, not just because I'm Syrian or Arab or Muslim or American or any of those things, but because I'm a human being who believes in equality and justice for all people, full stop. That's what drives me in my work, and that's what makes me so happy to see both Arab and non-Arab faces in the audience today, because um, that is where our story is heading. Now, uh, I get the opportunity to travel all over this country, um, raising funds for a cause that I believe in dearly. Uh, and of course, being from Syria and being connected to it in this way makes it easier for me to be able to put myself in those shoes. But what's been so heartwarming to see over these last few years is just how many people have heard the rallying cry for just a very simple and fundamental basic understanding of the humanity that binds us all and have not forgotten the people of Syria all over this country. And though it seems like in these crazy times that some of the most basic and fundamental things are being overlooked, trust me, the goodness of people in this country to support Syrians is there. We just have to foster it and cultivate it with events like these and also think outside the box and bring people to this conversation in a healthy way. That's all that's missing now and that's what we're here for. And I love the fact that art is one of the best ways to do that, in my opinion. Now, I wrote this verse at 30,000 feet en route to Austin. Next week, Chicago. Last week, Boston. Speaking about my people and what six years cost them. Syrian bodies strewn ashore, families who've lost them. Brutality, the likes of which a child should never see, let alone be subjected to. Lonely, poor, and destitute realities, the likes of which our voice is never free. Free to march across the harshest seas, only to be rejected too. I'm appealing to the best of you. My mama didn't raise me right, I wouldn't be addressing you, I'd be on my knees begging you. These babies deserve better than blurbs and newsletters or decisions about the futures that have arms dealers earn better. In addition to the smugglers, the looters, oil barons, and air polluters, killer telecommuters shooting bombs off drones, offices close enough to home to be dozing off by eight with little trauma signs showing pundits adding to the drama. One that flaunts a devil's thumbprint, but that index pulling triggers is in charge. When the body it's connected to is in uniform garb, ain't that something, trust me. They don't hate our freedom, it's the lies they find repugnant. It's the wars and the coups and they're propping up the dictators, the short-term memory, the long-range missile radius, and the craziest election rhetoric imaginable. How we could claim some moral high grounds isn't fathomable. The fact that Black Lives Matter has to even be said is telling. Back in 08, we had hope and change. Seven, eight years later, some Great Lakes waters were strained, smelling in Syrian lives shattered from a barrel bomb shelling on an hourly basis while our cowardly faces staring at a camera phone reflection drowned away in disgrace. Hundreds of thousands were plundered by thunder and rounds of obliterating agony. World leaders would rather lead us to believe they're being liberated. Actually, the older I get, I find the meaning of freedom is relative. I mean, it doesn't even mean the same to me and my relatives. Democracy on a high horse or high off a sedative. Keeping up with the Joneses isn't being competitive. I'm no longer in debt, but I still feel like I'm getting it. The misuse of my tax dollars is getting repetitive, meditative retreats, so all that kept me from losing it. Now I look in my son's eyes to find what is relevant. Gibran, the best medicine. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Some of you guys might know the song right here. It's a translation of Mijat Babeni's Damascene poem, AKA Damascus. If we got any Syrians in the house, make some noise right now. If you ask me what's Damascus like, I tell you that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, right? So if they ask you, what's Damascus like? Say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they, huh? Ask me, what's Damascus like? I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, when relishing and poetic embellishments never be fail. See, this is Damascus. And this is a glass of spirit comfort I love, but I'm aware of the fact that certain kinds of love can slaughter you in their wrath. I'm a Damascene being, dissect me into haves and have not, but grapes and apples fall in your path. Open my veins with scalpels, hear ancestral chants of heart. Transplants can cure some of the passion. Why does mine stay torn in half? And minarets crying tears of absence, like trees are so speak. Years have passed them, you can hear them asking for civil rights to live amongst tears of jasmine. As house cats take Natural relaxing. This was Damascus. Armando Machinero. El Ciego. The blind man. Mm. And this 
is how I feel for you. So, if they ask you what's the mask, it's like, just tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, all right? But if I ask you what's the mask, it's like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they huh, ask me what's the mask, it's like, I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, and relishing in poetic embellishments, memory fails, coffee grinders crackling, childhood reminders back when how could I forget when my reaction to cardamom strong fragrance yet and still finds a track. As proud fathers wait for a sweet daughter's face, I'm asking, my roots, heart, and language are here. How am I supposed to make myself any more clear? Is clarification necessary with love so dear? So much so, there was no fear. How many Damascene bracelets were sold for this poetry here? Apologizing to the willow, wondering if my little siblings can hear. My heart's been scattered across coasts for years. Lanterns on horizons floating, satinizing lost their hopes to see them. He said it's the saddest thing in this whole wide world. And that is how I feel for you, only for you. Clap your hands, y'all. If they ask you what's the mask, it's like, tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, right? Said if I ask you what's the mask, it's like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they, hey, ask me what's the mask, it's like, I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, and relishing poetic embellishment. See, we're tossed around the shore of oceans only to be hunted down by devils and demonic ghosts. Our battle garbage, rapid clothing, rapid flows, it's apropos, so no war is open to them, that's for show. Identity, your everness, resembling a widow, though. It's then infested as for the rest of his history books can show. What will remain of poetry's originality? If so, many a brown nose and liar gets to have complete control. How we gonna have a right of verse? The spirit killer still approach our water burden. I'm a words upon my back until I grieve, but shall remain of poetry when it is finally believed the saddest thing in this world, my lady is knowing that we were meant to be from the very start, but that might never be. The saddest thing in this whole wide world, but hey, this is how I feel for you. So, if I ask you what's the mask, it's like, just tell me that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, alright? So if they ask you what's the mask, it's like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they, hey, ask me what's the mask, it's like, I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, and relishing in poetic embellishments never be fails. And that's life. He said, Hadi Dimashku, wa hadi al-Kaksu wa rah Inni uhibbu. وبعض الحب ذباح أنا الدمشقي لو شرحتم جسدي لسال منه عناقيد وتفاح ولو فتحتم شراييني بمديتكم سمعتم في دمي أصوات من راح زراعة القلب تشفي بعضا من عشق وما لقلب إذا أحببت جراح رسم في سنزاق الباني and the over 300,000 Syrians who did not get to see their next day over these last six years. <sighs> How you guys feeling tonight? Good. 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 Well, that's exactly how you should feel, because these are heavy times, but we are very blessed. 